Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Stuck in a dead-end job? Sick of the same old, same old monotony of everyday work? Well, that may be the case for some, but not for everybody. In this list, we're going to count down our pick of fun jobs that don't feel like work. Number 10, professional voiceover artist. Hey, that's me! Voice actors bring life to many beloved characters. They aren't on camera, which is probably a very good thing. So unlike their real-life actor counterparts, there isn't a required dress code. You gotta see what I'm wearing, especially if you work from home. There are many perks with voice acting, like being able to see your voice bring life to animated characters, or setting the mood for a creepy or soothing ebook. If you're interested in becoming a voice actor, there are many tutorials here on YouTube and other great sources on Google. And if you're an agent looking for some fresh new talent, you can contact me at 30178 Jim. Jim, we talked about you plugging. Sorry, on a time crunch here. Number nine, YouTuber. Overall, this is a great experience. We get to make content that we love for a community we love. And though a lot of people probably feel as if it's all fun and games, that isn't always the case. A lot of hard work goes into putting out quality videos, as any YouTuber wouldn't hesitate to tell you. A lot of luck, timing, studying analytics, and determination goes into a successful YouTube channel, but the perks make it all worth it. Because of YouTube, more than 30,000 people are able to work full-time on the social media platform, and the number only continues to grow. So what are you waiting for? Join in! Number 8. Photographer Sure, everyone has a digital camera of some sort in their pockets almost all the time. And sure, most of those people probably have taken a picture that they felt was artistic and beautiful, right before sharing it to their Facebook or Instagram. But that's not the same as being a professional photographer, having the patience to wait for the perfect picture and the creativity to see it. If you enjoy viewing the world through the lens of a camera, give this a shot and follow your true passion to capture something beautiful. There are plenty of websites online where you can sell your work on a per-download basis. Number 7. Brewmaster <coughs> Excuse me. Do you have a strong palate for beer? Maybe even a love for the good old liquid bread? Then perhaps a brewmaster is the job for you. This sort of job is cut out for the individual with the creative side. <coughs> Excuse me. One not afraid to try new flavors, like maybe a chocolate and chipotle beer. Well, if this is something you would enjoy, the creation of new beer flavors, obviously as well as tasting them, then you should consider the path of a brewmaster. Number 6. Roller Coaster Tester If you're an adrenaline junkie like John Cooper, then you could very well find yourself working in amusement parks. Professional roller coaster tester and self-proclaimed adrenaline fan, Cooper rides new roller coasters numerous times for safety testing before they open to the public. The earning isn't that high, making about $32,000 annually, but the fun that comes with the job could be more than enough to sell anyone on it. You know they should turn this profession into a school program for extra credits? Imagine all of the parents that would be willing to drop off their hyperactive kids. Eh, anyway. Number 5. Cartoonist Granted, the fun involved in this job could vary depending on how much creative freedom you're entitled to. But nonetheless, this job has potential to be something dreams are made from. With many cartoonists shifting over to digital tools now for cartooning, the job has only gotten easier. And with there being many outlets for the regular person to get their work out, such as YouTube, the opportunity has never been more within grasp than now. So, if you've got the talent, give it a shot. You may just be the next Pendleton Ward. Number 4. Ice Cream Taster Now everyone has a dream job, and for Aaron the Writer, it would be an ice cream taster. Again, like many of the jobs on this list, it could be just as miserable as it is grand. Sure, when the butter pecan and chocolate flavors roll by, it's all good. But sometimes you get stuck with the flavors like ketchup and black licorice. According to master taster John Harrison, he spends five to six hours a day eating ice cream. Oh darn. Harrison even uses a gold-plated spoon, saying that wood and plastic leave a slight aftertaste which affects the taste of the ice cream. Number 3. Executive Chef For this job to be fun, you have to love to cook. Believe it or not, there can be a lot of fun found in cooking. For an executive chef, it's a little more than just cooking. It's preparing the menus, managing the kitchen, including the ability to spot and solve problems quickly. The starting salary for this job is pretty decent, ranging between thirty dollars to $60,000 yearly. The joy in cooking, though, really comes out in smaller businesses, where you can have total creative control and you're able to cook the dishes the way you envision them to be. Number 2. Pro Game Player 
From card games to video games, most of you probably wish to be some sort of professional game player. With the likes of Magic the Gathering's Pro Tour, to the world of esports such as League of Legends and Defense of the Ancients, it's something that many view as obtainable, and in recent times many have attempted to do. This is taken very seriously by those in the field, and many hire coaches and dietitians to aid them in their training. This seems a little ridiculous, right? Well, not considering that these events can award hundreds of thousands of dollars to the winner. Coupled with Twitch and YouTube at gamers' disposals, getting paid to be good at gaming is no longer a gamer's dream. Number 1. Island Sitter Is it Monday already? If only there were a job that made the week-long stretch of work not so mundane and dreadful. Oh, how about island sitting, where you literally watch somebody's island home while they're away from their life of, uh, living on an island? From as short as a few days to an extensive stay of several months, island sitters are tasked with ensuring the property doesn't fall apart, so they do need to have some handyman skills. But learning everyday skills and some aspects of carpentry is well worth access to an island of private beaches and watercraft. Hey, and if you're an agent, you're still looking for some fresh talent. Jam, jam. Oh, all right, all right. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, be sure to visit and sign up with our friends at Geek Fuel by using our affiliate link found in the description section. For just $20 a month, you'll receive at least $50 worth of geeky stuff that you'll actually use. Each box comes with a t-shirt you'll actually want to wear and a free Steam game download, usually valued at $10 or more. Don't miss out on this monthly box that Stan Lee himself endorses. Be sure to subscribe to our channel to keep updated on more lists like these, box openings, and giveaways.